are sitting down with Jack DeCumen, a Mulgrave alumni from the class of 2017, and he just returned from the U18 Baseball World Cup. And so we have a chance to sit down and chat with him before he goes off to university next week. And we just wanted to hear a little bit about your experience. Yeah, uh, it was an amazing experience getting to play for Canada. It was super cool. Uh, playing in front of all the fans was an amazing experience. And considering I've been on this team for the last two years, playing with these guys, it's been something that I'm never going to forget. And this is a really good group of guys that I'm really going to miss. And I'm really looking forward to going on and playing at the University of Washington and seeing what life has in store for me. Cool. So how many people came out to watch one of the games? Uh, we had in our opening night game, I think we had close to four or 5,000 people that came out to our game, so that was pretty cool. And then throughout our games, we probably averaged like two to 3,000 people. Uh, so that was really cool. With There was a lot of energy and a lot of the crowd was really up and getting us going, which is really cool. So did you find the energy of the crowd and that many people? Did it... Did it motivate you or yeah. did it make you nervous? Uh, it really motivated me and the team as well. I mean, uh, when we played Italy, it was our third game. We had to win if we wanted to continue to go on to be able to make it to the next round. And we were losing, but then we started scoring a couple runs and the crowd started getting into it. And that really helped us get going. And we ended up pulling off a big win and that really helped us push through and get to the uh, next round. So what did you have to do in, in those moments to stay focused and um, to maintain calm under under the pressure? Um, we have we had a really good group of leaders on our team th with, through coaching and players. So I think we were able to, sometimes in between innings, uh, we'd come in and we'd all talk together and we'd just calm each other down and we'd allow ourselves to play baseball because when things start speeding up and you start thinking too fast, then you end up making more mistakes. And it's when you're able to calm down and slow down and, throw, and slow everything down that you're able to play better and do better in the circumstances. Right, that makes sense. Yeah. What was your favorite part of the whole experience? Um, I honestly think it was playing the U.S. I had, even though I didn't get to pitch against them, it was so much fun playing against them. And since I'm from the U.S., that was also an amazing experience as well. And we, we played super well against them throughout the entire game, and I thought we had a pretty good chance to beat them. Unfortunately, we didn't end up beating them, but we ended up uh, getting into the head of the, one of the best, if not the best pitchers in the U.S., which is pretty big for us, so I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, that's huge. Yeah. Well, we're lucky to have caught you before heading off to university next week, uh, down to the University of uh, Washington. Yeah. So what what was it about that university that drew you to it or that felt like it was the right fit for you? Uh, well, I, growing up in uh, Connecticut, I'd go to visit Penn State a lot, which is where both my parents went to school. And that was a pretty big football school, so I've always been drawn to football. So Washington's uh, football team is very good. And they've also got a really good, uh, it's a very good academic school, which is good as well. So mixing uh, a good academic schedule with baseball is going to really help me. I think it's going to be good to uh, sign me up uh, in the future. So what's the balance like then between uh, baseball and academics? Uh, I have two to three classes a day right now, or when I go down there. And then I'll have, so it won't be as challenging, but I'll have Monday, Wednesday, Friday weights, and then I have practice six days a week from one to six, so that's going to be fun. <laughs> so how, you, how do you pl intend to balance the, the uh, We have scheduled study time, and we have tutors that help us out too, which is really nice. So th if we struggle and stuff like that, I think they're going to be able to help us. But also because of how much I think Mulgrave helped me with just becoming smarter and learning better study skills, I think that's going to really set me up well because... I'm going to be able to learn how to manage my time better than a lot of the other people, and I'll be able to get my work done uh, with a lot less effort than they will. Mm -hmm. what, do you, what are you planning to study? Um, I'm taking uh, business, either going to do business or communications. I haven't really decided yet. I'm just going in undecided, and I'll figure it out as I go along. Good. How did uh, Mulgrave support you in your aspirations to becoming a professional baseball player? Uh, they did a lot. I mean, I went on a lot. I missed a lot of school. I mean, there was a time where this past year, I think I showed up to school three days of a month. So, I mean, being away for so long, the teachers really, I was able to talk with the teachers a lot, and they were really able to help me out with uh, front-loading my work. So when I was away, I wouldn't be missing as much. And then when I got back, I'd meet up with them, and I'd get my work done. And I think it really ended up working out pretty well. And I ended up getting grades that I liked, so I was pretty happy with uh, what happened. Well, it's a ton of effort that you have to put in to kind of put your studies on hold a little yeah. bit at, at certain points in your personal life to pursue yeah. this school. So uh, it's really impressive that you've that you've done this, and 
do you have an ultimate career goal that you uh, I mean toward? hopefully I can make it to the big leagues but playing division one baseball is going to be an amazing experience and that's just a stepping stone to hopefully get me into professional baseball and get me up to the big leagues and hopefully one day I'll be playing there which would be amazing <laughs> Do you have a favorite team or player? Um, my favorite player is probably David Price. He plays for the Boston Red Sox. I don't know if I really have a favorite team. I just love watching baseball in general, so I'll watch all the teams play. Do you have any advice for Mulgrave students uh, who are pursuing sports outside of school? Uh, yeah, I think the biggest thing is you just have to work hard, and you have to know that you're not going to have, you may not always have success, but if you continue to work hard and you challenge yourself, things end up working well uh, because Life's gonna, it's, it's gonna be tough with the academic rigor that you have at Mulgrave, but if you're able to balance your school and your sports here, then going on into the future and to college and whatnot, I think it'll be a lot easier. Well, thank you so much for sitting down with us, Jack, yeah, and no we wish you all the best at the University of Washington, thank and you. we hope that you come back and visit us. Thank you, I will. <laughs>